Hello everybody, so for directional protection of the loop system, we have here our loop system consisting of two power sources supplying our lump load load 3 and then two parallel parts serving static loads load 1 and load 2. So to start our coordination of this loop system, we need to figure out the line currents of the system. To do that, we are going to run a load flow analysis and we determine that the 40.4 amps is our line current over here and 495.7 amps is the line current over here. To account for overload, we're going to round that off. This is going to be 500 amps and 50 amps. And after determining our line currents, we can determine the CT ratios. So for this one, since our line current is 50, our CT ratio is going to be 50 over 5. Similarly, this will be 500 over 5. Once the CT ratios are already chosen, we need to figure out the minimum fault current. So in order to do that, we're going to need a short circuit analysis. Now all the buses at fault right now, and I'm going to run a three-phase device duty. And here we can we figured that 1.964 K amps is the minimum forward fault current, and 0 0.919 K amps is the minimum reverse current. Using those minimum fault currents, we can calculate for our eye pickup. So the eye pickup will be applied to the OCR settings. So once we determine our eye pickup, we can do OCR settings, applying the eye pickup and also delay settings. So to test our coordination, we're going to run the star protection and coordination study, putting fault insertion in bus 2, relay 3, and relay 1 are going to operate isolating the fault at the top part so top part is non-operational but the bottom part is fully operational as you can see the current is running and flowing here from the power source to the lump load successfully similarly if i put a fault in bus 3 bottom part relay 4 and relay 2 are going to trip isolating the fault here and the top part is going to be fully operational now if I put a fault in bus 4, relay 7 and relay 8 are going to be the first ones to trip and backups relay 2 and supposedly relay 1 should be tripping as well. And if I put a fault in bus 1, relay 5 and relay 6 are the first ones to trip and backups relay 3 and relay 4 should be tripping as well. Now if we want to figure out or observe the fault in between the lines, so right here I have a line in between relay 7 and relay 3. When I put a fault right here, relay 7 and relay 3 are going to be tripping, isolating the fault in this zone, and then relay 1 is going to be the backup. Similarly, if I put a fault in between relay 8 and relay 4, relay 8 is going to be the first to trip, and relay 4 isolating the fault in this zone, and the backup is going to be relay 2. And that is the coordination of the loop system using direction protection. Thank you very much.